This is Bose Quinn of GunBlast.com. Before we all get started, I'm not my brother Jeff Quinn. I didn't put on 100 pounds. I didn't trim my beard. This is not Jeff. This is Jeff's little brother Bose. I'm normally behind the camera running things at GunBlast, doing the videos and whatnot. But today I'm getting out in front of the camera to tell you about something that's near and dear to my heart. Those of you that know me know that I just love the Ruger Bearcat revolver. Bearcats are just perfectly sized to the 22 cartridge. Ruger brought them out in 1958 as a nice little kit, little single action kit gun. Lightweight, easy to handle, easy to shoot well. They got a small grip, but they nestle perfectly in my big hand. I have no problem at all shooting Bearcats at this level. I got a bunch of them because you catch them real cheap every now and then. I can't pass up a deal on a Bearcat because I just love them. I've got some custom Bearcats. I've, I've uh, had a custom lightweight by Hamilton Bowen with a 22 long rifle that is tw extra 22 Magnum cylinder. I've got another Bowen convertible 22, 22 Magnum, and he calls it perfected Bearcat. It's built on the new, the new Bearcat or the Super Bearcat, the steel frame. I've uh, got a Allen Harton 32 Magnum five shot Bearcat. It's one of the nicest little guns I own. Everybody that sees it tries to buy it from it and I ain't selling it. I just love Bearcats. They brought them out in 58 and they were perfect when they brought them out. They discontinued the original lightweight Bearcat in uh, 1973. In 74, they brought out a steel frame version called the Super Bearcat and they quit making it after a couple of years and then they brought out uh, the new Bearcat in uh, 1993, I believe it was. It was a reintroduction of the Super Bearcat basically with steel frame and all that. They've since been in continuous production on the Bearcats. They've made several nice variations. A couple of years ago, Lipsy's distributors down in Louisiana, they introduced this nice little variation of the Ruger Bearcat. It was just the coolest little thing that had come along for the Bearcat since the Bearcat's introduction. It was called the Shopkeeper. They were made in stainless steel. The initial run of them were made in stainless steel. The barrel that was shortened from, th from four inches to three inches makes it even even handier than the standard Bearcat. And they rounded the grip frame to make this bird's head grip frame shape. It nestles in the hand just wonderfully. It's just, it, it's a great little gun. They shoot really easily and they pack easy. They're just great little guns. Lipsy's did a great job introducing these and I hope they sell just no telling how many of them. They're wonderful little guns. Last June, July, something like that, they brought out a blued version. The, on the blued version, they lengthen the barrel from three to three and a half inches, give you a little bit more positive ejector stroke when, you, when you're kicking out your empties. And they kept the bird's head grip shape. And to make this little gun unique, this is the first, first Ruger Bearcat ever produced to have a fluted cylinder. And it, it, it really makes it look unique. It's, it's kind of cool. I always like the unfluted cylinder with the bear and the cat engraving on it. But this gives it a unique look all to its own makes it even more of a Lipsy's exclusive and they've done a great job putting these out too. Like the other Bearcats and the other shopkeeper model, they shoot great, they handle great, and they're wonderful little guns. Tyler Gunworks in Texas specializes in refinishing guns in, uh, and they, there's one of the only a couple of three places in the country that does a good job with color case hardening steel. Uh, color case hardening is pretty much a lost art they used to do it back in the day. Yeah, they had to because the steels were weaker back in the day. Color case hardening is a process by which the steel gets hardened at the surface of it a whole lot harder than steels were being able to be made back in those days. And it imparts beautiful colors to it. Swirls of browns and purples and blues, just beautifully done. It's just the, the prettiest finish you can put on a gun, in my opinion. And Bobby Tyler is a guy that's gotten famous for being able to, to uh, case hardened guns and case hardened them right. They case hardened the way they look like the old coat colors and the old coat patterns and the process that he does it in. It's done in the old way and it's done right. And Bobby Tyler, as a matter of fact, it's supposed to be impossible. Everybody always thought it was impossible to color case stainless steel. Well, Bobby's figured out how to do it. And it's not a finish, it's a true case hardening. It hardens the surface of the steel, penetrates into the steel itself. So it's not just a finish. Bobby brilliantly figured out how to color case stainless steel and uh, he really made a name for himself doing that. Well, he got enamored with them little shopkeeper bearcats and he decided to make a few of them. So he contracted with Lipsy's. 
for a couple of hundred of these and he's he's color cased the frame on them now on a bearcat the frame includes the grip frame it's a one piece frame you got a you got a tri separate trigger guard but the frame is one piece goes from in front of the cylinder all the way around to the grip frame it's all one piece and bobby color cases these and he puts them back together and when he does put them back together he gets them lips his hole takes them apart he color cases what he needs to and he puts it back together and when he does if they're not timed right or if the uh needs a little work on the trigger or something like that he, he runs a full custom gun shop so he does all that too and that's all part of his package he, he got 200 of these and after the 200 is gone there won't be no more he's still got a few of these left they're all numbered here by the shovel head this one is number 20 of 200 ran into him at shot show and he told us about these I'd never met Bobby before face to face I knew him by reputation my brother Jeff had had some dealings with him and uh, it was good to meet him. It was good to finally shake his hand and get to sit down and talk to him a little bit. He's a good guy. He loves what he does. He's passionate about it, and he's darn good at it. And he took these little bear cats, and he made them even better. Uh, he had, there was 20 of them that he was having fully engraved, which is what I have here. When I met him at shot, he had one slot left on these, and it, a second later, he had none. As I immediately spoke up and said I wanted that last one. They're beautifully engraved in Bobby's shop. Full engraving. You got engraving on the barrel, the injector rod, the frame, the grip part of the frame, the cylinder. The engraved ones are gone. He had a few sets of uh, American Elk grips that he would uh, put on them, so I ordered mine that way. And he, he's out of these, unfortunately, but he still has a few left of the standard package case hardened uh, shopkeeper Bearcats. And uh, that he's really reasonably priced on these things. These are selling for $599. That's only about $100 more than what a standard Lipsy's Blue shop paper will cost you in you know, the average street price. You know, the prices vary a little bit, but they're usually around $500. You can get one of these for $600, and it's well worth it. They're a, a unique, limited edition gun, numbered. They all come with a certificate of authenticity from Tyler Gun Works, and they're well worth the extra 100 bucks. They're not going to be around long, so I wanted to tell you all about it. Get you one if you can. They're well worth doing. They're great little guns. They shoot well, and they're beautiful. From Tyler Gunworks. You rotate the cylinder and unlike other new model rigors the uh these charge holes line up on the click so as soon as you hear the click you can poke your empty out or load your new one makes it a whole lot easier to load and unload i want to talk to you a little bit about this holster rig that i've got this in this is from baronti leather it's a this has got a shooter stamp on it i'm proud to be a member of the shooter's organization as is jeff and as is mike baronti this is the, these are beautifully made holsters this is the, his uh, Northwest Hunter rig that it's on, and he makes these adapters. They're their first shoulder holster, but Baranti makes these adapters that just easily snap on or off. Any, pretty much any belt holster will work on these, and they're, they're really cool because they're versatile, they're comfortable, and they're the best, the best stuff made. Uh, Baranti makes just wonderful leather. He's a craftsman. He's an artist. He does all this work himself. He does his own carving, his own stamping, and he's just the, he's he's really just the, the best that there is at this kind of stuff. If you want some, if you want premium leather, premium leather is going to cost you a little bit, but it's well worth it. If you want premium leather, Baranti leather is where you need to go to get it. This this Northwest Hunter rig with this uh this belt adapter that he's got on here to work on any of his holsters. It's just the thing to have.